bees. They provide us with beautiful flowers and the sweet honey we all enjoy. But without pollination, we might lose fruits, vegetables, and many plants. Currently, there is a mysterious parasite that has taken over our bees. With the help of researcher and scientist John Haffernick, we will learn more about how and why bees can become zombies. This is a story about how a mild-mannered entomologist, after an unexpected event, became a hardened zombie hunter. Most recently, I've been working on a new honeybee parasite that was discovered right here at San Francisco State. It's a creature that we're calling the zombie fly. So this is a really small creature that uh, develops inside of honeybees. And we're trying to figure out how important that is for the survival of honeybees, because they turn out to be pretty important creatures for us. We discovered this parasite uh, on the San Francisco State campus back in late 2008. I was coming into work one morning in this building, Hensel Hall and I started noticing bees that were acting strangely in front of this building. And I looked at them and I immediately thought, mantid food. I had praying mantids down in our entomology lab that we'd brought back from an entomology field trip. And they were alive and hungry and they needed something to eat. Here were these bees that were just sort of wandering around in circles, pretty easy pickings and great food for the mantids. So I put them in a vial, I came up to my office here, set them down on the desk and forgot about them and they sat there for a week or so. I came back, looked at that vial. It was filled with these little brown pellets, which are the pupae of the fly. So this is what the fly comes out of. And once I saw those pupae, I knew that there was something strange happening inside the bees, and that's where we started putting things together. They're important to us because uh, they're, they're really uh, a big portion of what pollinates our crops. So if you like uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, apples, oranges, almonds, things like that, then thank a bee for that. Potentially it could be something like an emerging disease in honeybees because they, they haven't really uh, evolved with the parasite for very long. And we're concerned that that could cause a hive to fail and the, the social structure of that hive to break down. Extinction of the bees would be a terrible thing for us because it would alter not only our agricultural production and the kinds of foods that we could have from that, but also a lot of the natural world that we see around us as well. Because bees are not only pollinating crops, they're pollinating native plants. We're in a situation where it's a lot harder for beekeepers to keep their bees because they're losing so many of their hives that they have to put more time and attention into requeening and uh, restarting their hives. Eventually that means it's going to cost more for us on the dinner table for the things that bees pollinated and for that uh, sweet honey that we like as well. So we've started a new citizen science project that we call Zombie Watch. They were asking citizens all around the country to be looking for bees that are acting strangely. And we've had uh, citizen scientists now find honeybees in Vermont, Pennsylvania, Seattle, Washington, so we know it's much more broadly impacting honeybees than just in the San Francisco Bay Area. So thank you, and keep an eye out for strange bees.